5 DNA and at that point I'm going to have to no, I'll keep going for a bit anyway your goal, goal as, you know, as a cell is to eat and get bigger bigger, bigger, bigger bigger, ooh almost 10 DNA down here DNA is very important, sometimes when you're even bigger than this and you eat you sometimes won't get any DNA points for eating but that doesn't really matter ooh I'm bigger, see that one of those gave me no DNA points that epic is going to eat me if this glitches like it did last time oh there we go other cells and meteor bits are key to finding new parts each part has unique abilities that benefit your cell when you see a new part appear swim over the token to collect it continue basically you see that thing you know how that ate something and a part appeared out of it if you don't have, an, have a part and another cell has it when the cell dies, you can scavenge the part from its body. Ironically, due to a glitch, I would have gotten that part anyway, even if the cutscene hadn't just activated. The last LP, the second one I did, basically glitched majorly. Ooh, new ability, callmate, allows you to, let's just say, revamp your cell. After this, I'll be saving. But first, a tour of the editor. I should really have saved that for last time. I mean, next time, but still. Oh no, I'm gonna run out of time. I can't see it, but on my desk there's a clock that says I've been at this for around 10 minutes. Yay, I gave my creature a spike. That's new part I collected, a spike. It's spiky. What do you think a spike does? A, kill stuff. B, kill stuff. C, kill stuff. D, harm stuff till you can kill it. Or E, some combination of the above. If you went for any of the answers, you're right. Right now here, flagella. Like I said, things are mirrored. Stuff up here appears on the downside as well. If it's in the dead centre, however, like the eyes, it can be duplicate. Oh, that looks freaky. Right, this is where DNA points come into play. Sell for 5 DNA. It conversely costs 5 DNA to place one. They're not going to punish you for giving you eyes they don't like at the very beginning. You can sell the eyes and replace them very easily. Or, if you've got two sets of eyes, e.g. one here, and one behind it, around here, then you can actually just sell one and be no the worse off. I don't believe extra eyes do anything, and if they do, then I'm probably screwed, but that doesn't really matter, because I'm giving my creature loads of spikes. Spikes are spiky, they cost D 10, they cost 10 DNA, they give you this, attack and break, charge into cells to attack them. Some objects will break if you poke them, at this stage only bubbles will break if you poke them. Break if you poke them, yeah that's right way to say it. Flagella, cilia, jet, ooh we don't have cilia or jet, we only have flagella, like this thing here, but they give you very kindly at the beginning. Of the game, I'm making it bigger, which does nothing. I'm also making it smaller, which does the same. Hmm, eyes. Sight. Your creature needs eyes to see the clearly in the world. Yes, it does. I've tried playing this game without eyes, and trust me, it is hell hard. Attack and break. For the don't freeze. For the love of. Oh, that's better. Oh, ooh, look, it's my head. Anyway. I think that's cleared it of the glitchiness. Yes, it has, just about. Now, making sp spikes are one of the few parts that if you actually make it bigger, it'll make any difference. I think they're possibly the only part like this in the game, sort of short of stuff in Galactic Adventures, but that isn't technically the same game. Right now, if you own Spore, you may think that this, ooh, this is low definition. That's because it lags like hell in high definition, or mid definition indeed. And also, it's even glitchier when I record it than it is normally, so yeah, let, let's just say my laptop isn't too fast. Up here, you get colours. Wait, sorry. Building mode, you can add stuff to it. Colouring mode, you can colour it. Up here, choices of colours. Down here, patterns for your cell. I go for this pattern, and orange. Clicking on orange, select orange. 
hold down orange, however, you get a massive selection of possible oranges. I like that one. Let's go with that one. Maybe I should have a vote in the comments. The trouble is, no one would do that, so yeah. That's my cell. It's going to be called Sight. Just like the last two cells that I made. And it's going to be called, and its description is going to be 4CLP. And those of you. Those of you who can see the bottom right of the screen can see that someone called Ryo5M is online. Something like that, I forget his name. He is iPod Luigi505, his real name is Ryan. I'm giving this away because only because it is written in the channel description. Door. Anyway, the past two games that failed had this. The cells had the same name. This is the name of the cell, the creature, for the LP. Same description. Those two fat cells failed. I'm hoping this won't. Anyway, you need a name to save and exit. You don't need a colour scheme, you don't even need to change your cell at all, but you need a name. Ironic as it didn't have a name up to that point. Save and exit. Now I think that's not the only thing I'll be saving and exiting. I should be quitting spawn right about now. I would I would cut for the saving, but I think that's cheap. Ooh look, a new cell was born. Ooh look, it looks exactly like the old cell except it's slightly weirder and a different colour and it's spinning around like a lunatic. I should probably save now. Next time I'll actually go over the controls, which I forgot to in this part. I'm such an idiot. Bye! Right, now I need to synchronise the cutting. Three, two, one.